We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Eight yards on the counter there. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's taken down at the 35. So he found his receiver for the first down. Well, they got to him in a hurry, but it was just a little bit too late. That's a nice first down pass. run to the outside. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes it second and six. From their own 39-yard line, second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. All right, D, let's go. All right, D, let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. From the 43-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. He keeps it. And they make the stop at the 32. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Doubles, 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 doubles. Key in 21. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. He scrambled. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. This is the 11th play of this drive. on the play. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. He steps up right around the 10-yard line. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. To the end zone, intercepted. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And he's tackled right around midfield. I thought it was pretty impressive they were able to stop it. I thought he had enough room to break away from everybody and take it all the way to the house.
gains his way to the 33-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They hook up over the middle. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled at the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings him second and goal. Decent pickup. Call it a gain of five yards. Makes it third and goal. From the one yard line, it's third down. Mike 41. Let's go! Touchdown, Colorado State! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six-play, 79-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado State's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Makes it to the 37. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. It's a fumble. Defense says they've got it. And they do. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. From the 32-yard line, first down. Colorado State up seven points. He might have a chance. Runs it right, nice pickup. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Rams lead. 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. That's going to be a first down. The back got about five yards on the play. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 20. They run it left. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and 10. The 
not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From the 24-yard line, third down. Get to that quickly. Tackle made at the seven. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Colorado State is up a score. And he throws it away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Here we go. Let's high, 68. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Colorado State is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. They'll bring him down right around the 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 40-yard line, first down. By 40, by 40. I got it. Run it on. Nice play across the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Mike 40, Mike 40. Roger, Roger. Key 21, Key 21. Here we go. Flat flat flat. And a quick throw. Brought down at about the 45. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first It's first and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 37 yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. Right, right, right. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. And he is drilled at the 29. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. It's second and six. Ball of the 25. Let's go! And down he goes, around the 24-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's level at the nine-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Touchdown, Brigham Young. That 
that's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Colorado State holds a field goal lead. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Oh, excellent hook. They'll bring him down at the 26. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. The tackle. Game seven, seven on the play. play. Check, 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 check. That makes, makes it second and two. Check. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. The Rams use their second timeout. Third and eight. Ball on their own 27. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields it at the 17. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Colorado State is up by three. He makes his way to about the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Carries the ball for a nice game. Quick pass. Team. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 10-7, Colorado State. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this great. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, 
What a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Colorado State has a three-point lead. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 37. He's tackled at the 40. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 40. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll bring him third and six. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Red 85. Red 85. The running back gets two on the carry. That's a gain of two on the play. Makes it second and eight. Colorado State is up a field goal. Ready! Red 65! And he's immediately tackled. This is the eighth play of this drive. He fights forward to about the 26. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 26 yard line. Second down. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. This is the 10th play of the drive. Hey, pick your game up. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Right hey. Green 85. Right. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number 25. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. That'll bring up fourth and five. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. 
It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Zips it to the tight end, and he hits him hard at the 33. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. What a collision. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Colorado State with a six-point lead. They'll knock him down for a loss. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 32. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Three down, three down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Taken down in the backfield. No gain on the play. That brings up third and ten. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. That's three down and one to go. Colorado State's lead is six. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Let's go! Flag! You've got to wonder here, early in the fourth quarter, if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Colorado State is up by six. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it to the 25-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. They come out in an empty backfield. 
They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. to about the 42-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. There he goes. Brought down at the 49. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Colorado State up six. Ready, red 18, red 18. Hut hot. Hut hot. And they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's third and five. Ball on the 47-yard line. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 59 Philly! 59 Philly! tailback he gets out to about the 44 yard line and he has a huge run i'll tell you right now this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today there you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness trying to set up a little screen gets it to his tailback tackle the 37 yard line and a pickup of about seven it's a well-designed play to the halfback and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just throws this one away. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Brigham Young will use their final timeout. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. They'll spread the field with five wide. Steps up. He lets it fly. Oh, and he can't hold on. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. He's hit and taken down. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. 
Game, set, match. That interception is going to do it, partner. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gets out to around the 32. That's a deal. Under a minute left. And they'll get him in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. That makes us third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they make the stop at the 24. And that'll give them another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 16-7, Rams. And the BYU Cougars. So that wraps things up for us. Three A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.